If you have hearing aids but you still have trouble hearing conversation, there's a new surgery that may help you today. My guest is Dr. Jacques Herzog, an ear surgeon from St. Luke's Hospital in Chesterfield. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Now, you call this the hybrid hearing plan. What is it? That's correct. What a hybrid device is, is it blends the best of cochlear implants with hearing aids to help individuals who are having decreasing benefit from their hearing aids otherwise. And why is it that even with people who have hearing aids, that they can have trouble hearing conversations? Well, because actually there are two components to hearing. One is the ability to hear a sound, and the other is the ability to understand a sound. As we lose our hearing, whether it be from noise exposure, aging, or inherited traits, we tend to lose hearing to a greater degree in the higher frequencies than in the lower tones. Hearing aids certainly can help those individuals, but in some circumstances, the individual will then begin to lose word understanding and have increasing difficulty, and that's where the hybrid device comes in. How do the hearing aids work, actually? Well, hearing aids basically can um, make sound louder, whether they're analog or digital. They, uh, they ho however, not able to improve word understanding. The only way we can really do that is with direct electronic stimulation of the inner ear with a cochlear implant. So how does the cochlear implant work? Well, a cochlear implant uh, basically stimulates the cochlea. The cochlea is the inner ear organ, it's shaped like a snail, and various and we're portions, looking at a picture now. Various portions of the inner ear correspond to uh, different frequencies. When we look at the um, cochlear implant device itself, we have an external portion which sits behind the ear, looks very much like a large hearing aid consisting of a microphone and a speech processor. What we do with that is we're then able to uh, convert the electronic signal to a, uh, uh, rather an acoustic signal to an electronic signal, then passes across the scalp. The internal component receives the, uh, receives the signal, it sits behind the ear under the scalp, and then sends a signal along the electrode into the inner ear to stimulate various portions of the inner ear itself. Now, how does the hybrid plan work? Well, with the hybrid device, what we're doing is we're placing a modified cochlear implant into the first third of the cochlea and then allow the hearing aid to stimulate the, or rather to, to acoustically stimulate the remainder of the inner ear. It's that first third that corresponds to the higher frequencies of individuals who have lost their hearing. Now you just had some clinical trials? That's correct. We were wrapping up the phase two trial of this study. The results are still being collated, but it's all very encouraging. It appears that we've been able to restore normal or near normal hearing in all individuals. Wow. Uh, what has happened is that uh, we were able to create a situation where these individuals are now able to hear sound in noisy environments such as restaurants or appreciate music to a much better degree. And that's where people always have trouble. Um, what does it cost a patient to be in clinical trials and who's a good candidate? Well in this particular situation virtually all the candidates we have encountered have had good insurance and the insurance has covered the procedure and they're only responsible for their co-pays or, uh, or deductibles. The good candidates are individuals who have worn hearing aids but are getting decreasing benefit and having trouble in a noisy environments like a restaurant or, uh, or, or listening to music, but still are able to talk on a telephone mm -hmm. and have an active lifestyle. So if we have viewers who are interested in this surgery, where can they find out more? We will be more than happy to see them and evaluate them and determine what the best modality is to help their hearing. And that's at your hospital? That's correct, at St. Luke's. Okay. Dr. Herzog, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.